Hey guys, here we are, final lesson for this entire program. I hope all of you are sad and not happy it's over because I've really enjoyed putting these together and I really hope that you guys have gained a lot from doing them. Maybe you even have fallen a little in love with yoga like I am um, and you'll practice it after this program. Okay, I have saved the best to last because I love what we're focusing on today. I'm very passionate about what we're focusing on today and I think that this little tool I give you if you listen to it and if you believe in it, it's so, so powerful. At the start of the credits, you would have seen that I created a little mathematical equation and it read like this, think plus feel equals results. And you might have seen that and thought to yourself, what on earth is she talking about? Okay, so this is what I believe in a lot. Whatever we think, makes us feel something which then makes us behave in a certain way and the only way that or the way that we behave rather is then what comes back to us in our results so i'll give you an example i'm going to use school as an example okay maybe there's a subject at school that you don't love as much as the others or even like as much as the others so let's say for example maths Maths was never a subject that I really loved at school. I found it hard to understand. It confused me and it just didn't excite me like other subjects. So I was a bit bored in it. So perhaps my attitude towards maths wasn't so great. So let's use me as an example and my experience of how I approached maths when I was in primary school. Okay, so I thought that maths was boring and it's not, it's very relevant, but let's just use me as an example, okay? I'm not saying any of what I thought was right, it's just an example. I thought maths was boring, I wasn't very interested in it, it was confusing and challenging for me, okay? So I thought those things straight away. Maths is boring, maths is hard, maths is confusing. So that means that that is the way that I felt about maths, yeah? So when someone asked me, you know, do you like maths, straight away I was like, no, I hate it. It's boring, I don't like it. So that was my feeling connected to it because I thought these things about maths. So what do you think I did when I went into maths class? Do you think I tried very hard because of my feelings and thoughts about it? Do you think I put in a lot of effort? Do you think that I tried to solve problems within it because I was open to growing and learning? No, I didn't because I didn't think or feel positively towards it. Okay. So therefore, because I thought that way about it, I felt that way about it, and I acted that way towards it, do you think my results in maths was good? Do you think I got good results? Do you think that I passed tests and solved problems and grew and excelled in that subject at school? No, I didn't, because my thoughts and my feelings and my actions already gave me the outcome that I was going to give, which was not a very great one. So can you see how the way that we think has a massive effect on the way that we feel, which has a massive effect on the actions that we do, which then has the biggest effect on the results that we get. So do you remember in week two, which was a very powerful week, and I'm talking about it again because I want to remind you of how important that concept was. In week two, I said, if you can't change it, change the way you think about it. Because so much of what we do starts with our thoughts, okay? So if I changed the way I thought about maths, if instead of feeling negatively towards it and like it was boring and hard, if I perhaps thought that, yes, it was hard and maybe it wasn't as exciting for me as maybe PE, but if I applied myself, if I tried a bit harder, I could get better, then my feelings would show that I had a bit more confidence in myself. I used a bit more effort when I tried. My actions would have showed that and then my results probably would have improved. 
So that's just one tiny example. This applies to like everything in your life. Think plus feel equals results. How have you thought about this program? What are some of the things that you have thought about this program? If they've been positive things, I probably bet that you've had a positive experience during these lessons and you've been able to learn and grow a lot. If it was negative, you probably haven't had very much to take, out, take away from this experience. Does that make sense? So if already your attitude towards the Project Care program was negative, then chances are you're gonna to finish today's lesson and go, that was a waste of time, I didn't get anything out of it. But if you thought about it differently, if your attitude towards it was differently, you probably gained a lot out of it. Okay, today I want you to grab your journals really quickly. Write today's date, today's date on it. And you're gonna write these four sentences, please. I think these sentences might be hard for some of you to write. And if you refuse to write them, that's absolutely okay. Perhaps you don't feel like it's time for you to do this at the moment, and that's totally cool, no forcing just an invitation, if you're open to it, the first sentence you write is either I love or I like myself. So that's number one. So write one and then I like or I love myself. You choose which word feels more comfortable for you. Okay, have you done it? Question two, or not question two, statement two rather. I accept myself. I accept myself. Okay. Number three, I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Okay, and number four, I deserve to feel happy. I deserve to feel happy. So number one was I like or love myself. Number two was, I accept myself. Number three was, I believe in myself. And number four was, I deserve to be happy. Okay, once you finish them, you can close your journal and place it to the side. Okay, why on earth did I get you to write those statements? If whatever we think turns into what we feel, turns into our actions, turns into our results, then what we think is super important, right? And the thoughts that go through our mind need to be thoughts that are going to give us the results that we want. So if they're negative thoughts, if they're unenthusiastic, unmotivated thoughts, if they're not very kind thoughts, then chances are we're gonna get lots of results in our life that are negative, that are unkind, yeah? But if perhaps we think lots of thoughts of the way that we feel about ourselves in a positive way, yeah? So remember if we think negatively about ourselves, unkind towards ourselves, then our results will get that. So if we think positively towards ourselves, if we value ourselves, if we learn to believe in ourselves, if we learn to accept ourselves and tell ourselves that we accept ourselves, then we're going to have positive feelings towards ourselves. And that means that our actions are going to reflect the positive feelings we have towards ourselves. And that means that our results will more than likely be much more positive than if we've felt negative feelings towards ourselves. So the purpose of this program was to help you learn about you. And if this last lesson tells you that it's very hard for you to say the kind things to yourself, like I believe in me, I accept me, 
then that maybe shows you that maybe you don't have a very positive feeling toward yourself. Perhaps you don't have positive thoughts towards yourself. And if that's the case, then you're going to find there's going to be lots of situations that give you results that reflect the way you feel about yourself. There were lots and lots of years when I was a young person and even when I was an adult where I didn't necessarily have very nice feelings towards myself, where I wished I could do something more, where I didn't believe in myself when I tried a new challenge, where I didn't even try a new challenge because I believed that I wasn't going to do well at it. And there's lots of opportunities that perhaps I missed because of the way that I thought to towards myself because of the language I use towards myself. So today I'm encouraging you to change your language towards yourself, towards these positive statements so that you can start feeling a little differently towards yourself, thinking differently towards yourself and then that coming out in your feelings and your actions and your results. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge throughout the yoga flow and I want you to just be aware of what your mind does in that challenge. I'm also going to invite you to keep saying those sentiments or those phrases over and over in your head throughout today's class and then check in at the end. All right, lovely people, today we're going to breathe on our backs. So spin yourself around, lay all the weight down. You can bend your knees, I think, today. Rest your palms on your belly. Okay, just take a couple of moments just to settle in after that little chat we've just had. And let's start breathing from the belly, you guys. So can you breathe from the belly and lift your chest? Big breath in. And as you breath, breathe out, just feel like your body's melting in the mat. Good, let's try it again. Big breath in. And a big breath out. You got it. Can we try one more time? Big breath in. And now literally melt into your mat. Okay, from here, can you just check in on what you're thinking? What thoughts are running through your head? It all starts with our thoughts. Are they positive thoughts? Maybe they're not such positive thoughts. And if they're not positive thoughts, can we start to revise those statements we said at the start of class? I like or I love myself. I accept myself. I believe in myself. I deserve to be happy or to feel happy. Okay, from there, open your legs and arms out like a big giant star. Like, take up as much possible space as you can. Breathe in. Now breathe out, curl yourself in the teeniest, tiniest ball. Okay, what does this feel like? Does this feel a little restricted? Let's do the opposite one again. Breathe in and open out to the biggest star possible. Come on, take up as much space as you can, like you're trying to hog the whole room of space. Good, and breathe out, curl up into the tiniest possible ball, like squeeze every little thing super duper tight. Good, try one more, you guys. Breathe in, open up super wide, super wide, fingers strong, and breathe out, curl into the tiniest ball. You got it. Feel what it feels like to feel really open and expanded and feel what it feels like to feel really restricted. Good, nice work. Drop your knees back on the mat, palms down. Take a big breath in, lift your hips and take your fingers over your head. Good, breathe out, drop your hips and drop your palms. Good, try it again with me. Breathe in, can you lift up super high and reach your fingers all the way back? Can you breathe out and can you soften down? Good. Can you match your breath, your fingers and your hips? Here we go. See if they can move perfectly together in unison. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
Nice work. Open your arms out to two right angles and hug your knees to your chest and roll your knees over to the right side and your head to the left. And now just breathe into your left lung. So breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. All right, roll these knees over to the other side and your eyes at the right elbow. Breathe into your right lung. Literally feel your lung expand. Breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. Nice, bring your knees back to the center, hug them tight and rock backward and forward. Do it about four times, build up a bit of momentum, backward, forward, last one. Cross your legs and then plop your knees under your hips. All right, you guys, from here, step your right foot back and can you roll backward and forward and backward and forward and now sweep that leg up to the sky. So it's in line with your hip, good. Draw your belly in. All right, let's take a little balance today. Reach your fingers of the left hand forward. Right palm under your shoulder. Breathe in to point your toes and reach your fingers. Breathe out, can you tap your left elbow and your right knee? Good, breathe in, can you stretch as long as you can like you're taking up every part of the room with space. Breathe out, curl into the teeniest, tiniest ball. You got it, and again, breathe in, point your fingers, point your toes. Breathe out, curl into the teeniest, tiniest ball. Okay, last one, team. Breathe in, point your fingers and toes. Bend your foot, or your knee rather, grab a hold of it and kick into that back foot. We've done this before. Hold for four. Try to really focus with your eyes. Three. How's your breath? Two. One, don't flop it down yet. Breathe in, point your toes, point your fingers, hold, hold, hold. Breathe out lower. Legends, well done. Left foot, catch the ball. Rock and roll back and forward, like you're massaging the foot. Good, come over to the wrist. This is strengthening our wrists a little bit. Good, from there, lift that leg and point the fingers of the right hand forward. Okay, you super steady. Are your eyes focused down on your mat? Breathe in to reach. Breathe out, knee to elbow. And again, breathe in to reach. Knee to elbow. Last one, team, reach. Bend the knee, grab a hold of the foot. Let's not wobble for four, eyes forward. Three, you're doing an awesome job. Bet on yourself. Two, if you wobble or fall out of it, who cares? Still accept yourself. You're human, one. And release, drop the belly, lift the heart, breathe in. Tuck the chin, lift the back, breathe out. How's your breath today? Try again, breathe in. Try and match every action with the inhale and an exhale. And breathe out. Can we try one more, breathe in. All right, tuck those toes. You know what we're doing, downward dog. Good, walk the palms back to the feet and then take your forward fold. Can you bend your knees and roll up like a rag doll? Good, all right, let's do that awesome worm that we did right back in lesson one. So our chin goes in, we roll down for one, two, three, four. Can you creepy crawly out to your plank? Two, three, four. Can you creepy crawly back? Two, three. Four, roll up, five, six, seven. I want you to think like you're a worm. Try it again. One, two, three, four. This time quiet as a mouse. Five, six, seven, eight. Creepy crawly back. Two, three. Now how heavy can your spine be? Like a rag doll. Seven, let's try one more, you guys. Then we're gonna stay in plank. One, two, three, Four, creepy crawly, those fingers, six, seven. Okay, can you challenge yourself today? Maybe if your knees have been dropped previously, can you lift them? If you already have had them lifted, can you squeeze your legs together? 
your chin in. We're going to take two big rounds of breath here. So big breath in. Big breath out. Good. You've got this. Bet on yourself. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. How'd you go? Chin, chest, belly all the way to the mat. Good. Spike your fingers a little wider than your mat. Press through them as you lift up. Breathe in. And now drop your left ear and your left shoulder to the mat. Breathe out. Good. Make this really flowy. Breathe in. And breathe out. Can you check what your mind's doing now? What thoughts are running through your head right now? Breathe in. Could you change your thoughts to give yourself an opportunity to enjoy this experience a bit more? Last one, you guys. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice work. Palms under your shoulders. Press back. Child's pose. All the way back. Okay, we're going to pause here for a moment. Can you feel your bottom on your heels? Can you press your palms firmly into the mat? Draw your shoulders down so you've got space between your shoulders and ears and let your head just flop heavy on your mat. Can you recite these words again in your mind? I like or love myself. I believe in myself. I accept myself. I deserve to feel happy. Can you say them again, you guys? Notice if your mind's going, no way, this is a stupid idea. Just notice what your mind's doing. Can you challenge your mind? I like or love myself. I believe in myself. I accept myself. I deserve to be happy. Well done, you guys. From here, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. All right, let's spring to the top of the mat. Good, take a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Ground down, reach up. Draw your palms to your heart. Okay, today I'm doing something a bit crazy and different. Today, I'm just going to talk you through your sun salutation A. So I'm not going to do the actions, I'm going to talk it through and all I'm going to say is inhale, exhale. And you're going to bet on yourselves. You're going to trust that you know how to do it because we've been doing it for six weeks now and you're going to flow all by yourself. Two rounds. You got it? You do. Go on. I bet on you. Yeah? Believe in yourself. Guys, are you ready? Top of your mats. You've got it. Okay, when you're ready, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Step back to plank, breathe out. Hold, take a breath in. Lower to the mat, breathe out. Scoop it up, breathe in. Back to down dog, breathe out. Take a big breath in. A big breath out. And come to the top of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ground down, reach up. Draw your palms to your heart. Okay, round two of two. You've got this. I believe in you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step back to plank. Breathe in. Lower down. Breathe out. Scoop up. Breathe in. Down dog. Breathe out. 
Take one breath in and one breath out. Spring to the top of your mat. Take a breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Ground down, reach up. Draw your hands to your heart. Good, stay there and close your eyes. Notice what your mind's doing. How does it feel? Were you able to get through two sun salutations on your own? And if so, are you proud of yourself? You should be. I'm proud of you. Okay, if you didn't get through two sun salutations, what's your mind saying now? Is it hard on you? Is it being hard on you? Is it saying things to you that aren't positive or aren't nice? And if it is, change those thoughts. They're not relevant. They don't mean anything. There's no weight behind them. Who cares, I said. I'm not putting pressure on you to know it. I reckon you gave it a really good shot. And if you didn't give it a good shot, that's okay as well. There's room for growth there. All right, you guys are awesome. Well done. From here, top of your mat, hands on your heart. We're going to do a little flow today and then we're going to set it free and I'll let you know what that means. Right knee up, breathe in. Mr. Miyagi, step it back, breathe out, lunge. Scoop the fingers up, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Strong fingers. All right, toes face the front of the mat, breathe in. Clap your hands and then open to the back of the mat. Breathe out. Good. Let's come back the way we came. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Flip and reverse your warrior. Breathe in. Step back to the top of the mat. Breathe out. Good. How'd you go? Left side. Mr. Miyagi. Breathe in. Focus on something. Good, step it back to your crescent lunge, breathe out. So bend your front knee, stretch your back knee. Good, sweep your fingers up, breathe in. Warrior two to the left, breathe out. Okay, fingers clap above you, breathe in. Open to the back, breathe out. And again, breathe in. Can you stay super calm today? Like you're in water, breathe out. Everything is flowy. Reverse your warrior, breathe in. Back foot to the front foot, breathe out. All right, like Tai Chi, let's do it. Breathe in. Step it back, breathe out. Scoop it up, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Good, toes facing forward, clap your palms, breathing. To the back, breathe out. I really want you to try and remember this sequence for me, okay? So keep that mind on, breathing. Breathe out, you got it. Reverse your front palm, what happens from here? Breathe in. Step your back foot to your front foot, breathe out. Okay, left side exactly the same. Let's try and remember this sequence. Left knee up, breathe in. How much can you float it? Breathe out, focus in. Everything else around you doesn't matter. Breathe in, reach up. Open warrior two, breathe out. Are you staying calm? Fingertips tap, breathe in. To the back, breathe out. Back the way you came, breathe in, breathe out. All right, flip and reverse your palm, breathe in. Step to the top of the mat, breathe out. Okay, my friends, something new again today. There is a really great part in yoga classes where a teacher often says, okay, it's time to set it free. I love when they say that because that means that they've taught us a yoga flow and now they stop talking and we get to do it all on our own. So we set it free and when we set it free, it means we do it the way that feels great on our bodies. We don't have to listen to her timing. 
We don't have to listen to her cues. We just get to do it and set it free. So I'm going to ask you now to set that yoga flow we just did free. So I'm gonna pump up the music in this video. I'm gonna do the yoga flow. So if you get a little bit stuck, just take a look at the video, I'll be there to help you. And you're going to set it free, one round all by yourself. If you feel like you wanna spend longer in a shape, go for it. If you feel like you wanna hurry through it and get it out of the way, that's fine as well. But I want you to set it free and make it your own. So I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to value yourself, so like or love yourself during this. I want you to accept yourself, the bits you get right and the bits that maybe you don't get right. And I want you to feel lots of joy while you're doing it. Feel how lovely it is that your body is just yoga in and turning up for you today in this class. So many lovely emotions could come from this experience. Will your mind let you have all of those awesome emotions today and experience all of that? I challenge you to go there. So we're gonna set it free, are you ready? All right, let's put this music up. Whenever you're ready, we'll set it free and then when you're finished, we'll land at the top of our mat with our hands on our chest or our heart center. All right, let's do this. How'd you go? Well done. I wish I could have seen that in real life. You guys are awesome. All right, to close today's class, let's do a little balance. So tree pose, my favorite. Your right leg is your standing leg. Find your point, stay nice and focused. Find your tree legs and then find your hands to your heart. Okay, today I want you to color your heart Give it a color, a color that's like relevant to you. Maybe your favorite color or a color you look at and you're like, yeah, I feel like I could be the, the color yellow, the color red. Okay, now open your arms to your branches and feel how that color expands out of you, like it's filling the whole room. You are painting the entire room your color. You're expressing yourself through this color and the whole world is seeing it. So just visualize that color of your heart squirting in all directions and open for the whole world to see. How powerful is that? Good, take a breath in. Mm, feel that color move even more so around the room. Draw your hands to your heart, release your knee, and let's go straight to the other side. Keep that color in your mind, tree pose. And when you've got your focus and your balance and your stability, open those branches and feel that color explode. Absolutely explode. Can you see that color go? You filling the entire room with your color? Is it filling your entire body from your fingertips all the way down to your big toe? Good, and draw your palms to your heart. Release your knee and down. Nice work you guys, find yourself on your bottom. 
That's it. Facing the front of your mat, hands on your shins. Take a breath in, lift your heart. Take a breath out, draw your chin to your chest and your belly to your spine. All right, this is the last program. Do it really well. Breathe in and breathe out, draw it in. We're going to roll down for four counts. No flopping at the end. One, two, three, four. Nice work, you guys. Extend your legs, palms to the roof. You stay there, I'll sit up. This is your final Shavasana. Your final Shavasana. So as you close down your eyes, I will guide you through just a little two minute meditation. So soften your whole body and feel your skin melt away from your bones. Feel your entire body melt into your mat. And I want you to feel that feeling of pride, proud of yourself. You just attended six classes where you learnt information that was maybe brand new, you had never heard before. You tried yoga poses that you'd never learnt before. You pushed your body to different limits and in different ways. And you challenged your mind to think different thoughts and understand things differently. I have taught you that you have control over one single thing in this world and that is you. I have taught you that the way we think about something has a huge effect on our experience. So if there's something in our life that we don't really like, maybe we could change the way we think about it. And we have spoken about how special and important our body is and how important it is to care and nurture for it, to feed it well, to move it well, to talk to it with positive language and to respect it for what it does for us every day. We've learnt how to create energy in our body and we've also learnt how to find stillness. And today we reminded ourselves of some really special feelings and thoughts that are so important. I reminded you to love or like yourself and to tell yourself often I reminded you to accept you for who you are because there's only one of you and we need you in this world. You are unique and you are special and that's what makes you perfect. I've reminded you to accept yourself for who you are because again, that is unique and special to only you. And I've reminded you that everybody in this world deserves to feel happiness and you are no different. So maybe moving forward and on from this program, there's some things that we've spoken about that could really change the way your days are or the way you think and feel about things. As much as we only have control over one thing, which is ourselves, we need to take responsibility for ourselves. And if we can learn to take responsibility for ourselves at a really young age, then that's only going to serve us really, really well as we get older. So just spend the next 10 seconds or so saying thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to you for showing up and completing this program and being open to learning more and exploring more parts of yourself that maybe you didn't know before. Can you take one last final stretch out? Open your legs, open your fingers and take up as much space as you want. See this much space that you're taking up? I want you always to take up that much space. Let the world see all of you. All right, and from there, rolling over onto your favorite side and then up into your seat. 
Okay, lovely people, our final namaste for this program. It has been an absolute pleasure guiding you. I hope one day I get to meet you in real life. But for now, from my heart to your heart, namaste. And your final little task in your journals is to grab them and list down one thing you learnt about yourself during this program. At least one thing, there might be more, but for today, just write down one thing that you have learnt about yourself during this program. Have the most beautiful day. Take care. Until next time, see you later.